All right, students, we are on Lesson 11, Session 4. It's on page 247. You should complete these next few pages first and then come back and watch this video. So you need to be completing pages 247, 248, 249, and 250. So go ahead and pause this video and go do those pages. And when you're done, come back and check your answers so that way you can practice how to solve these um, multiplication problems. All right, hopefully if you are back, that means that you just went and solved these multiplication problems. So let's get started. Number one, anytime I have a number times two, like if this number right here is only two, I'm going to do repeated addition because that's the easiest way anytime you are multiplying by two. So I will have 435 plus 435, because that's like saying 435 times two, because there's two of them. So five plus five is 10, carry my one. Three plus three is six, plus one more is seven. Four plus four is eight. So your answer is 870. I'll go ahead and turn to page 248. 248. Find four times 6,309. Estimate to check that your answer is reasonable. Show your work. So let's estimate first. Um, I'm gonna estimate to the thousands place. Three tells my six to say the same. So I'm gonna do four times 6,000. Four times six is 24. And then I bring my three zeros down. So it should be around 24,000 when I do my answer. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the area model for this one. First, I need to break up 6,309 into um, expanded form. So 6,000 plus 300 plus, I don't have to do the zero, so it's just plus nine. I'm gonna draw my box here 6,000 plus 300 plus nine. Put my lines where the pluses are and then move my four over here on the side. Okay, four times 6,000 is 24 plus three zeros. Four times 300, four times three is 12 plus two zeros. And then four times nine is 36. Now I'm gonna add these three numbers together. 24,000 plus 1,200 plus 36. Zero plus zero plus six, zero plus zero plus three, zero plus two, four plus one and two. So 25,236. That is pretty close to 24,000. So your answer is 25,236, which is reasonable to my estimate of 24,000. And that is your answer. All right, let's take a look at number three. A hardware store has 147 containers of paint. Each container holds five gallons of paint. How many gallons of paint does the store have? So I'm talking about containers with paint in them, so like um, gallons of paint. Each gallon holds, each container holds five gallons. So how many do I have if I have five of them, or I'm sorry, if I have 147 of them and there's five gallons in each. So on this one, I'm gonna do partial products. So I have 147 times five. So I'm starting off with five times seven, 
which is 35. Then I'm going to 5 times 4 tens. And we know that 4 tens is the same as 40. So 5 times 40, 5 times 4 is 20. But I have to add that 0. Next we're doing 5 times 100, or 100, 100, and we know that 100 is 100, so 5 times 100 is 500. Now we're going to add all of these together, 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So the correct answer on this problem is C, 735. Now down here it says Dale chose A as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Well, if you look over here, it looks like he maybe did the one, like the ones place and the tens place, but he looks like he left off the hundreds. Because if you add 200 plus 35, it's 235, which is what... Dale did. So Dale forgot the hundreds place. He probably stopped right there and added those, but he had one more to go. Okay, go ahead and turn to page 249. Select all the expressions that have a product of 810. That means we're going to have to solve all five of these. So let's start up here. 9 times 9 is 81, and then we add our 0. Yep, so that one works. 405 times 2. Well, we're doing a times 2, so we're going to do repeated addition. 405 plus 405. 5 plus 5 is... 10, 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1, 4 plus 4 is 8. Does that match? Yes, it does. Now we're on right here. 3 times 2 is 6. Add my 0. 3 times 7 is 21. Add my 0. So 60 plus 210. Let's go over here and add it. 210 plus 60, 0, 7, 2 which equals 270. We forgot to add that right there. So that one is a no. 2 times 4 is 8, and we got two zeros. 2 times 5 is 10. We can easily see that that one is going to be 810, which is correct. 5 times 100, so 5 times 1 is 5. Add those two zeros. 5 times 6 is 30 plus a zero. 5 times 2 is 10, so let's add these together. 500 plus 300 plus 10, 0, 1, 8. So that matches, so E. So you should have A, B, D, E as correct answers. Number 5. Mr. Larson is planning a pizza party for 273 people. He plans on three slices of pizza for each person. How many slices of pizza is this in all? Okay, so we're talking about a pizza party, and there's going to be 273 people there that each get three slices of pizza. So how many pieces of pizza do we need? So we would have to do 273 times 3. So put this in expanded form, add my things there, we're multiplying, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 zeros is 600, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 1 zero, 3 times 3 is 9, so 600 plus 210 plus 9, 0 plus 0 plus 9, 0 plus 1 is 1, 6 plus 2 is 8. So the answer is 819 pieces of pizza.
Okay. Now we are on to number six, which is 2,906 times two. Anytime we see that two, we just add that number together twice. Six plus six is 12. One plus zero plus zero is one. Nine plus nine is 18. Two plus two is four, plus one more is five. So your answer is 5,812. And then you're gonna write it over in this box. So you start at one side, so two, one, eight, five. And then you come down and find the five and shade in, the eight, the one, and then the two. And that is your answer. Last page, 250. Laura says, when you multiply a three-digit number by a one-digit number, the product, which is the answer, is always four-digit number. Laura writes an equation to support her statement. Greg writes an equation to show that Laura's statement is false. Okay, so let's try this. So Laura wants a three-digit number that ends up being a four-digit number. So she probably needs a bigger number. So here's, she's got 328, and she says when you multiply by a three-digit number by a one-digit number. So she probably needs a bigger one-digit number. So what's the biggest one-digit number? Well, it's nine. So let's see if we can do 328 times nine. Nine times eight is 72. Nine times 20 is 180, and 9 times 300 is 2,700. 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8, 9. So her answer is 2,952. So she's right. You get a four-digit number. But Greg says that she's not right. So he has 328 and we could multiply it by one, but I think we should try multiplying it by two. Anytime we do two, we know we just add them, add, the, add that number together twice. 328 plus 328. Eight plus eight is 16. Two plus two is four, plus one more is five. Three plus three is six. So it equals 656. Okay. On this one right here, you could have one, you could have two, or you could have three. On this one right here, you can have four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine to be correct. So there's more than one possible answer. Okay. All right, let's look at number eight. Fourth grade students hold a recycling drive. Okay, so we're talking about fourth graders recycling. In one week, they collect 1,238 water bottles each day. How many water bottles do the fourth graders collect that week? How many days are in a week? A week has seven days. A work week has five days. A school week has five days. Okay? So if they are asking about a week, they are talking about seven days. So let's go ahead and multiply this. So 1,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 8. Okay, and then our number over here is going to be 7. So 7 times 1,000 is 7,000. 7 times 200, 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 zeros. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1 zero. 7 times 8 is 56. Now we're going to add those numbers together. So 7,000 
plus 1,400 plus 210 plus 56. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6. 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 5. 0 plus 4 plus 2. 7 plus 1. So the answer is 8,666 water bottles. And our last one. You can use any strategy you would like to solve this problem. I'm going to use partial products. 357 times 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 50 is 400. And 8 times 300 is 2,400. Add those together and you get 6, 5, 8, 2. So 2,856. That is it for session 11. I will see you back for session 12.